Hey yo, so early this afternoon I got back from school, knackered as ever, and begun my daily evening routine by stalking my YouTube crush, Georgia Productions. Did Georgia Productions reply to my comments yet? I quickly came across this video where she was trying on some of her mum's old clothes. I took one look at the view counter. Oh my god! No way! Oh my god! And thought. I could do with some of those. But I also thought it was a really fun idea and my mother's wardrobe is an insane maze that I've never really ventured into before. So I stole her idea. I just went in there and scavenged a few items. She's at work, so I guess that means I have permission to use all of her stuff, right? Let's give it a crack. I've moved here so I have more space to flaunt my sexy looks. Because trust me, this is gonna be hot. This first item is actually one of my favorite pieces of my mother's. I remember she used to wear this big black jacket when I was a child. I would snuggle up under her arm, under this blanket-like jacket. It was just so cozy. Although, not gonna lie, now that I'm this age, I'm getting kind of kidnappy vibes from it. Why do I suddenly feel all the more capable of taking your children? Come on in, little child. It's warm under here. Ooh, or I guess there's also kind of the Grim Reaper aesthetic going on here. I feel like that death character in Sims that arrives after you accidentally drown your Sim in the pool or surround your kid by one by one meter wall until it dies. This is really long and spacious. Plenty of room for children. This might come in handy later. For my next look, I've got a whole outfit picked out starting with these pants. I mean, they're kind of cool. They're a bit short. I didn't realize we were still living in 2003. Perfect. Just in case you want to get a nice ankle tan. And I'm pairing them with this shirt, which has come straight from a 1930s groomsman, but definitely from my mum's wardrobe. It's a bit small. This would be cool if I was going for like a pirate look. And to finish off the outfit, I've got this scarf. If you can really call it that. It kind of reminds me more of when your pet cat dies and you bury it in one of those pretty silk bags. And then a few years later, when you dig up the cat, there's just the disintegrated dead remains of the bag. Like something has definitely died in this. So this is the finished look. Um, I don't know too much about fashion, but I think I did pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> okay, does someone need to tell my mum that it's 2018 and cultural appropriation is not accepted? Me waiting to be taken to my arranged marriage? Why does she have this in her wardrobe? This is really uncomfortable. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, to be honest, I've always wanted to try on a skirt just for interesting curiosity's sake. What a strange concept. Oh, what? This is insane, you can just put it over shorts. Oh, this is so fun to shimmy on. I feel both more restricted and more free at the same time. Does that make sense? The design choices are a bit strange, like, why is there this weird gap here? Why do we need this split? Don't pretend you're giving me squats if you're not giving me squats. And the pockets are a tad hard to access. Is this just a bad skirt or is this a thing on all skirts? I feel like a mermaid in this. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there. <laughs> I actually love this. I feel so much more free. And the way it just touches your skin. There, stop. This is your mum's clothing. Oh, I feel like I could just fly away. Hi, I'm Alessandra of the Meadows. Come dance with me through the fields. This needs a catwalk. Next outfit. How do I get this off? <gasps> I'm stuck. I'm actually gonna be Alessandro of the Meadows forever. Okay, so this is supposed to be a happy video, but just looking at this outfit brought down the mood a thousand times. I feel like everyone has a token funeral outfit in their wardrobe and this is my bums. Like, who just died? Where's the funeral? Cause I'm ready to go. I do like the outfit though. It's like just basic enough. It's the different patterns, contrast. This nice cardigan thing kind of shields the skinniness on my arms a little. I could get used to this old dress thing. In the arms of the angel, you We're kicking off this next outfit with this nice blue top. Kind of gave me a widowed beach girl vibe. Ah, this is cool. I'd wear this. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Actually, now that it's on me and I'm looking at it properly, I'm getting more kind of sweet, new, young school teacher vibe. Hello, I'm Mrs. Grassfield. But when the school bell rings... Again, my mother's clothing. And I thought it could be nice to pair it with this nice red jacket. If I can, if I can get my hands through it. This'll do. Ah, ah, ah. Why is my hand going through this? 
constituent, but it's difficult. Not that much wider than my mom. Oh, what? This is sick. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. I would actually wear this right now. This is cool as. How are you doing? I can't get over this. Ladies in the comment, tell me if this is cool or what. You know what? I'm going to put these back on the same rack. Just so my mum knows to pair these together next time. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Okay, what? This is weird. Does this not look really good on me? I look professional, I look contemporary. Okay, I can't tell because the screen's so small and far away, but I'm pretty sure this looks good on me. Oh, wait. That might be most excited for a fairy coat. See, if I was a woman or a man that wore women's fashion, this is exactly what I'd wear. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, this is not as comfortable as I thought. This is a look and a half. So, I don't think I'd wear it myself, but women definitely have better fashion choices than men. Look at me. Whoa, a journey has been had here today. I am a changed man, or should I say, a changed woman. No, look, as fun as it was, I think I'm gonna stick to my baggy oversized t-shirt and school shorts for now. That is at least until I buff up a little and can fill out those summer dresses. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed, please hit like, subscribe for a new video on Sundays, and please click that bell button to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video. Or even if you don't care about missing a video, click the bell button. It makes me not feel sad about myself. This week's fantastic person shout out goes to Lily Moran 17 on Twitter because she is incredible and she is everywhere, Lily. I love you. Oh, I don't even follow you. <laughs> My bad. Thank you so much, Lily. Let's hope none of us die in the next week so I can see you very soon. Adios amigos. Now for my cringy outro song, which is actually an intro song and is recorded really bad quality, but it's a fun time. Hey yo, my name is Theo and welcome to the video. McDonald's is my home and my baby's name is Mindy. My cat Broly is dead and I wish I lived in Sydney. My bloating schedule is firm. One time I swallowed a worm. I dream of being a star and collect my hair in a jar.